Yeah, we're complaining about rain in California and then probably in Calgary it's it's snowing like crazy a bit. There's there's no scanner in this game right. Oh shit. My own brother is playing jungle. Jungle kill. Apparently that's all the, the new thing in Korea. We'll have to see. Strong one. There we go. That, that was one. On some other, good job, team. All right, it's wrong. So many junglers on my team. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, we have three. Meh. What you gonna do? Some days it's good. Some days it's bad. I think they have no junglers on their team. That'd be explaining why my little brother is uh, playing jungle right now. But we have three. They have. Whoa. True warriors are born in blood. We see so many blitzkrings and challenger games when I'm in competitive. I think in competitive they can abuse it, but I honestly think I've been saying like for I think three months ago I noticed that blitzkrank was just a good blitzkrank blitzkrank Roman solo queue is like godly. Uh, okay. Pain is temporary. <laughs> He's like, I'm confused. Fight as a hero, or die as a coward. Nobody understands me. They call my work a hack job. Along with the robot revolution. Fight and be remembered. Is there gonna be a day where I do more than two hours of different games? Maybe on LCS days. That's probably the. Well, apparently, every time I press W. Oh, when I press W for the first time, I'm pretty sure it does that. Yeah, okay. So I'm pretty sure the first time I press W on Aatrox, it prints that message. Because the moment I clicked it, it's that message popped up. Now let's try to kill this guy fast. That's why I'm on W form right now. There's no point letting this guy live. But now I switch to E or the heal form because I'd obviously die. Oh, I'll, I'll read that after the game. Can't right now, but thank you for that. However, it may be. But I can't read it right now. Said those. Is he warden my? Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't know how Vi works top line, but I don't I've not actually seen it do well, let me see. He's 10 CS down, but he has a huge wave to clear. It's just that Vi doesn't really do much like Vi's one of the weakest level one and twos in the game. She's insanely uh insanely weak in that regard. Because she doesn't have a new at those early levels unless you counter Q, which doesn't count because it's really hard to charge your Q up when the enemy is right in front of you in a 1v1. And its cooldown's like 20 seconds. So I'm about 8 seconds off a normal clear. Wow, I just got boned. Yeah, like I said. What you're gonna do when they come for you? Bad bullish. Wanna purposely sit here? There we go, he's gonna walk out. Hesitation is oh, he ran out, what the hell? I'm slow. Yeah. 
I did not have high expectations. The reason I get that smite right now is it's broken, that's all. Because I'm on re really, really low cooldown. Smite is abusable because you can abuse the Razor Cam over and over. So, but, but when it gets nerfed next patch, I'll probably pick a different smite. I'll probably pick Skirmishers for this guy, the auto attack one. But the fact that you can do this every 45 seconds instead of 60 is pretty good. Zero. Shit. If they both die. If you can't get a good pull, if that minion's in the way. Yeah, I couldn't go for the other. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, you have to hit him. You're not gonna kill me. <laughs> you're not gonna kill me, boy! Okay, maybe you will. Okay, there no, no, you're not. <laughs> what you doing to me, boy? This is a true Gundam. It's basically a Gundam war. I just realized he's using the Gundam skin on Kyo, and I'm using this skin on Atrox. So all the grunt units like Lucian and Hecarim will be cut down instantly. And then the final battle will be the main kill. One glorious duel in space. Yeah, you get attack range. That, that, that's what makes them not completely useless. Because th this is actually really easily dodgeable or interrupted, which is really annoying. What is Vi doing? I fucking hate Vi top laners. This is the second one in like three days that's gone completely murdered in lane. It's like, I don't even know why people try it. Like, you can already theory craft. Hmm. Black face, anyone that has moves that are on low cooldown, I'll get shit on. And that's almost everyone, <laughs> almost everybody top. Because Vi's Q has a horrible cooldown. And Vi's E has a really bad cooldown early too. So that leaves her W, which is an auto attack. Passive bonus, so. Compared to someone like Hecarim. You get a really, really spammable Q, and then you got a recipe for disaster. Yeah, but Vi top lane right now is two levels behind the jungle, so God help us all. Oh, is that three Norse? They will greet you as heroes. It basically is Transam, you're right. Did she have teleport? Wait, she has Ignite. Why is she going back? Oh, she's Vaderinos. Vedachinis. <laughs> Look at the frog. Shoot, if I accidentally walk in the heck room, I'm gonna die. Yeah, so I have to put that word out. Wow, number two. Damn, it sucks. Yeah, their jungle was Kale. <laughs> I did not actually see Kale except like once. 
It's because Vi went Ignite over Teleport, and then the thing is, Hecarim beats Vi even without Ignite. That's a huge setback for us. Surpass the frailty of your form. I'm waiting for them to walk over there. Violence is elegant. Yeah, I'm not getting on top, fuck that. Pain is temporary. Victory is forever. Every kill brings victory closer. Well, it's a Gundam. Oh my god, the sh shitty Blitzcrank unit. Blitz wow. Gundam Trans Am! Oh fuck, I'm dead. Dead Am. What the fuck was that? Okay, what well, fuck this shit? <laughs> this, is bull this game is so bullshit right now. Can we just cut down ruthlessly? You savages. I know what lurks in the hearts of men. And and Vi hasn't really done it insane. Wow, Hecarim roams. I think we're gonna lose. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Dragon for that. The blood suck needed to hit or we needed to get a reset. We did not. And then Vi needed to get something top. Like Hecarim keeps running mid. So, it's really inconvenient. Hesitation is dead. Yeah, Vi is so garbage against Hecarim. Oh my god. Yeah, so you're just Like, see, there's no counter pressure from uh, Vi, because Vi is just straight up losing. Should I go Transanum on their asses? Transam! Trans motherfucking am, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> I needed something to heal off of. Why? Well, there is a wing zero. Holy shit. Ooh, never mind. Went devour, right? Yeah, devour. I'm assuming it's devour hurricane. Uh, we're in deep shit. Because Carol literally didn't gank or do anything all game, and yet all their lanes are winning. It doesn't make sense. Okay, our mid's winning, but aside from mid, everyone's losing. I am as timeless as war. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, we're pretty screwed right now. I just don't see us winning. <laughs> I don't see us winning because if you lose two lanes and the jungle doesn't gank, then that means the other guy's in a deep shit. True warriors are born in the uh, if there's anything learned from this game, if you see a Vi top, just prepare to lose. Let 
Sun says this lies. Clanyuni is 10,000% better than you. Okay, whatever that 10,000 means. But it doesn't really matter how better he is in your mind. Is all that matters is this game is completely fucking useless. Because he went ignite and didn't go teleport, so that means Pekrom can always split push against her and then teleport somewhere. And he lost lane 1v1 really badly because he chose Vita. So I don't really care who he is. Because this game, he's just getting carried along for the ride. Violence is elegant. He's a big reason why we're losing everywhere else. They will greet you as heroes. Now there was someone in chat saying he was 10% or 10,000% better than me like yeah dude. Yeah bro, judging from this game, I don't, it doesn't really matter. Victory is forever. Ekrum is Triforce Tabby's not looking good. Kale's right behind her. Or him. Violence is elegance. How come gaming has her needed nowadays? Cause the game got serious. But nah, it's easier to practice when all five year players are in the same house because you can get make sure they're all at computers and there's no distractions. Because before it'd be hard to get screamed sometimes because Trans Am bitch. Fuck. What the hell is that? Fuck. The Trans Am. Damn, he had flash he flashed over and I was pretty screwed after that point. They were pretty tough. No, I can already tell you, Vi does not win almost any matchups. No, like, Vi is like the worst champion level 1 to 3. Because their cooldowns are like 20 seconds long. I don't know You're in trouble, Blitz. You're dead, Blitz. Fuck! That Vine was gonna hit. Nah, this game's over. I'm gonna FF in 2 minutes. Level 1 to 3, Vi gets destroyed. Uh, like, I saw it when Vorboy played at top, he got destroyed level 2 because he was down like 20 CS or some shit. And then. Oh wow. Oh, GG boys. And then if Vi ever charges up a Q and I'm Hecarim, I'm just gonna E towards Vi and then that cancels it or interrupts it and then you just do damage. Yeah. So. I don't know. My two experiences with Vi, they both lost level 3, basically. 1v1.
The cooldown on Q is insanely bad until level 5. Yeah, this game's over. Uh, these are the, no, it's the exact same thing. Like, happened to both both Vi's I've seen top. They've lost level 3, 1v1. Game ended right there because the enemy top laner just roamed the map while they put zero pressure. I'm done. Is the greatest lie of all. This game is a waste of time. No, I'm not gonna play the traps. Like, if I get that guy on my team, I'm just gonna play Master Yi or some shit. Cause, uh, if he's gonna play Vi top, I might as well play Master Yi. It's like, Master Yi at least has a better win rate than fucking Vi top. Very bad guys, I'm gonna play some ads.